My name is Jide Kwae, the founder of Keeks. Keeks is the first innovative and social footwear brand in Africa. We started in 2015 and this arose from a personal challenge that I had growing up. Um, I am currently a size 48 uh, for shoes. So uh, by the age of about um, 15 or thereabout, I was struggling to find shoes uh, that I would really like. I mean, I could find shoes that were my size, but they were not the right type of design. And uh, also I could find shoes that I really liked, but I couldn't seem to get my size for them. So in 2015, I decided to learn how to make my own shoes and I embarked on a journey. I, I went to the Netherlands uh, to study how to make shoes in a school called SLEM. Uh, and over a couple of weeks, um, I learned how to make sneakers. And when I was done with the program, I realized that it was going to be a very expensive venture to make just a single pair of shoes. And I said to myself, why don't I make shoes for others as well? Um, and I started doing quite a bit of research and I realized there was no Afrocentric brand and the idea for creating the first innovative and social footwear brand was born. Uh, we started off on Kickstarter, uh, which is a global crowdfunding site. So over a period of about 40 days, we actually got people to pre-order uh, the designs that had been created. And we had pre-orders from different parts of the world. Uh, we raised about $20,000 in 40 days. And following that, it's been a whirlwind in terms of uh, the brand growth and what have you. The first collection we had is called the Felakuti Collection and we had uh, the artwork of a gentleman called Lemmy Garioku. He did most of the album covers for Felakuti and so we collaborated with him and those first designs were basically Felakuti inspired and we've gone on to actually create a lot more designs. Uh, this will be our third collection. So the second collection was called the Jinnet Collection and we took inspiration from Lagos and you know the Yoruba people mm -hmm. and the most recent collection is called the Afronauts which is about a, a Zambian team that wanted to go to space in the 1960s and they made the headlines and we decided to take inspiration from the works of a lady called Christina Domidel. Mm -hmm. She is a photo documentary artist and she documented uh, the story and so we, we got inspiration from our work and we infused that on the shoes so we have a sort of newsprint uh, type story design on the shoes. So we tend to infuse a lot of these African elements in our shoes and that I think has also endeared a lot of um, Nigerians as well as Africans and people all over the world towards our shoes. What I love most about my work is finding people who um, appreciate what it is that we do. Um, I mean, these days, we see our shoes all over the world. I mean, somebody's in Kigali, somebody's in Guadeloupe wearing our shoes. We have people wearing it in South Africa. And the, the ability to also identify the product. I mean, we've tried to be very unique in our own ways in terms of how we design it. And so what makes me really happy is when I get very great feedback about how it has touched people's lives in one way or the other. You know, the idea is not just to buy shoes, but to give them products that will make them feel good and inspire them as well. And we also got a social side to our brand. So we also give back uh, to a social project, which is called Dustbin Estate Project. So um, for us, it's very important to be able to enrich people's lives through our products and inspire them. And I think that's, that's the fun part of the job. Recently, we um, decided to launch a Kicks Affiliate Stroke Influencer Program. And the objective behind that is to partner with um, individuals and corporate organizations that it will wear to um, share our products with their followers or their fans. Uh, they in turn get uh, a commission on the sale, their customers get discounts, and then we also want to give back 
a certain percentage to a social project. So the, the essence here is to share the products, share the brand story and make it a tribe of people who are connected through products and they're also being empowered at the same time. In terms of footwear, we've got three major categories of products in terms of pricing. Um, we've got the slides, which start for about 10,000 Naira. We've got our Kicks Light, which is what you would call a go-between uh, canvas opera material. Um, and we've got the Kicks Classic. So the Kicks Light is about 15,000, whilst the Kicks Classic, which is more of the higher end of the range, is 20,000, between 20 to 25,000. Well, we've also got lower price point products. We've got socks going for about 3,000 Naira. We've got caps for about 5,000, 6,000. We've got no tie shoe laces, which are more like magic laces. Once you tie them in to your shoes, you don't have to lace up again. It's almost like a, a lock-in type of lace and that costs about 1,500 Naira. So we've got a wide array of products, but they all tailored more around at leisure type uh, products. As a brand, Kix has a lot of challenges. Um, first and foremost, we don't really have a very strong structured retail um, chain type environment. There's a lot of informal markets, unstructured markets. So when it comes to distribution and retailing, um, it's still quite a bit of challenge. Um, on the other end, you've got e-commerce, which is being adopted. But nevertheless, we still have a lot of consumers preferring to buy products that they can touch and feel. So striking the balance in terms of getting access to market and making sure that the quality of the channels that are being offered um, match the type of consumers that we want to buy our products is in certain ways a challenge. Um, growth also comes with its own challenges. Um, in the footwear industry, what a lot of people don't know is you need to have what you call a lot of SKUs. So you've got one style of shoe or one design of shoe you have to have a wide array of sizes, 11 sizes for just one color. And so before you know it, inventory is a huge challenge that you have to deal with that a lot of people don't understand about uh, the footwear industry. And then also the need to constantly um, challenge um, the challenges of the environment and try to work around it, you know, from power to, to finance as well. And also, um, you know, generally it's very challenging when you're trying to build a brand from the ground up as opposed to having a huge uh, influx of cash. So we've been, we've bootstrapped our business to a large extent, we've tried to be organic. Mm -hmm. And so at a certain stage in your business, as you begin to scale, you need to bring in systems and processes and structures. And so that requires a lot of financing as well as the right types of resources. So for a, a, a startup that is trying to scale rapidly, you would definitely face a lot of challenges. In the next five years, we would like to see Kicks in at least 50 countries. Um, we have already started um, our global um, rollout through e-commerce. So we've got a global website that we're working on right now that is multi-language, multi-currency, multi-payments. And so we will see ourselves beginning to scale uh, rapidly, um, possibly through franchising or whatever means that we think would be the ideal vehicle but the vision is to become a global African brand. Kik's positioning is a lifestyle brand and lifestyle goes beyond just fashion. Uh, lifestyle means it becomes a part of um, the everyday life of the people, that the tribe that we are talking to. So it becomes a part of you, it becomes a, a way of living and that's where we're trying to get to.